Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Well, Matt, if people are going to be outdoors celebrating Juneteenth, I guess they might want to bring a sweatshirt, a jacket. A little bit of a jacket, <laughs> yeah. especially Saturday if you're out. Can you believe we're talking about snowflakes potentially in the summits? I'm, just... I'm blocking that out. <laughs> we'll, ha we'll have I'm 80s next week, that. so yes. just, just wait till then. <laughs> right, well, we got nice weather out there right now, and you can see it on Jay Peak where we've got the mix of sun and clouds, lots of green out there. So it's nice right now, temperature 65, a little bit of a northwest wind, and around the region we're actually pretty mild in the Champlain Valley. We're in the upper 70s. 80 in Plattsburgh right now. A little bit cooler as you head toward the Adirondacks, but we're sitting pretty right now, feeling like summer with a little bit of a breeze. You can see where we've got a mix of sun and clouds across the entire state. A couple of showers and thunderstorms off to our east, moving out into our New Hampshire counties. That's associated with the first cold front, and that's bringing in drier air so that you notice the humidity really dropping behind this. But we've got this secondary cold front way up there in Canada, and that's what's going to bring in the much cooler air as we go into the day tomorrow. So dropping humidity this afternoon with that cold front moving through. It turns much cooler Saturday, more than 20 degrees below average for most of us. And there is some improvement for Father's Day, but you'll still probably need that jacket. It'll be pretty windy out there out of the north and west. So let's play it out on future cast. Mix of sun and clouds, and you notice by about 8 or 9 o'clock, here comes the leading edge of the cooler air, and there'll probably be a couple of downpours along this line as it moves through Vermont. And then we'll wake up very overcast tomorrow. It's going to be breezy, raw, and chilly, and we'll see some showers throughout the day rotating in from the north. So it actually could be a pretty wet day especially as we head towards Saturday afternoon and there could be even some snowflakes mixed in at the highest elevations probably above 4,000 feet but nevertheless what a sight that'll be to see in uh, mid-June so as you can see, Father's Day, some improvement, mix of sun and clouds. We'll see a little bit more sunshine, but still feeling chilly out there with northwest winds gusting over 20 miles per hour. So here's what it does to the temperatures. We got 70s to near 80 out there right now, but after 530 tonight, the bottom just drops off. This cold air comes right in from the northwest. So by tomorrow morning, waking up in the 40s, even 39 out in Saranac Lake. And look at these temperatures throughout the day tomorrow. Really not budging at all. We're in the 40s and 50s still at 5.30 p.m. on Saturday, so it'll feel very chilly, and you notice we get back up into the 60s, potentially even near 70 on Sunday for Father's Day, so certainly some improvement there. But uh, we could actually beat our record cold high temperature for uh, Burlington tomorrow. Our record cold highest temperature for June 18th happened back in 1959. It was 56 degrees. Our official forecast for tomorrow is 54, so that's certainly uh, could be in jeopardy as we go through tomorrow, but uh, let's enjoy the afternoon while we have it out there. Warm weather right now, 80 degrees for the high here in Burlington. A couple of thunderstorms off to the east moving out, so most of us should be dry and mild this afternoon. And then tonight it turns much cooler behind that uh, cold front I showed you there. A couple of showers early, diminishing overnight, but you notice our temperatures in the 40s and 50s, and I think we could even see a couple of 30s out there by the Adirondacks. So Saturday, not looking great, record cold high temperatures. Sunday, a little bit of improvement back into the 60s with some sunshine, and then Monday and Tuesday looking a lot better, getting back into the 70s with lots of sun. Could actually warm into the 80s by next week, but we'll have to uh, watch for some more showers and thunderstorms. Liz?